everybody. How you doing? This is Barry, that Goat Metal Show. Doing our weekly recap. Before I go and I head it over to the silent producer, Rich. We get through some uh, some quick news. Okay. Uh, my guitarist, the one known as Ramon, guitarist for Go to Memphis. He has been featured on an interview from Iron Backstage Magazine. All right. Uh, I just you know, I just got the, the, the link yesterday. I read it. And he did a phenomenal job on it. You know, they, they, they asked some great questions. He responded, you know, really, really well. Um, no controversies, all right? So you ain't going to get none of that from us. No metal will teach it from Go to Menses ever, all right? And um, you get a chance. I'm going to make sure that, you know, the link is in the description. You guys want to just click on it, check it out. Give it a go, man. Let's give props to Ramon from Go to Menses for a great fucking interview, man. Thanks, brother. All right? And then we just, uh, you know, we today is actually July 6th. It's a Saturday. But July 5th, we had a couple of anniversaries uh, from some, you know, great albums, actually. We had um, South of Heaven from Slayer. Came out July 5th, 1988, along with Overkill, Under the Influence. You can just imagine it was a metalhead's dream that day, running to the record store and picking up those classic albums. All right? And then 40 years ago, July 5th, Metal Church released their self-titled album. All right, there's some classic albums there for you to, you know, maybe revisit, check out, go over. I mean, you know, uh, some people got their, their their things about you know Slayer, South of Heaven, which you know coming straight from when, when they did uh, Rain and Bloods and South of Heaven it was like a quick little difference. But to me, still South of Heaven is a fantastic and classic album, along with Overkill's Under the Influence. I think Under the Influence is a very underrated album. I, uh, for me, it's my favorite Overkill album. Always is. I just love that fucking album. But fantastic shit. Fantastic. All right. And then along, you know, with, with buying stuff, we got um, the Misfits Super 7 Vintage uh, Reaction Figures. All right. I guess it's, it's these cool little action figures with, um, you know, the Misfits theme, Glenn Danzig, all these, you know, all, you know, everybody from the Misfits. And they have them all ready for pre-order. So if you guys are into figures, maybe it's something worth you guys checking out, okay? Then we're going to go to one small topic of metal or team shit, all right? Yeah, I know we missed one last week. Sorry, Trevor. It's just, you know, look, not everything got to have one team shit, man. There's sometimes we can have one week without it, okay? Um, Max Cavallaro, he has changed his mind about, you know, doing a, a Sepultura reunion. He was very animated about before that he would actually do it and so on. And then, you know, Andreas Kissel was in reverse where he just, like, he didn't want to do it and so on. Uh, then all of a sudden, Andreas Kisser flipped the switch and said he wouldn't mind doing it. Now Max is like, fuck that. I, I, I don't know if they're just playing a game. Uh, maybe, uh, who knows? Who knows what it is? Uh, or maybe uh, Max maybe might have heard my my uh, my uh, my theory on why they, that he decided to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, just saying. I don't know. That's part of the bonchin shit, man. It's theorizing extra bonchin shit. <laughs> All right, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I really don't have that much right now. I want to thank everybody who's been uh, checking out uh, the channel. Uh, you know, liking, subscribing, sharing. Uh, you know, I want to thank a lot of the new people that came in. And uh, also, you know, be, be on the lookout, you know, July 20th for the Mentis Goes Live. Uh, we have our first live show. Uh, fortunately, we won't put it live. Once it's recorded, it, we will release it. You guys will all get to see that show, okay? Don't worry about it. But I want to get it over to Rich, the silent producer. Let's see what the hell you got. Take it over, Rich. All right, thanks, Barry. In Philadelphia, this is Hardcore Fest, August 2nd through the 4th. We'll have Black Flag, The First Four Years, In Seconds, All Out War, Cold As Life, Brat, Demise, Leeway, Negative Approach, Underdog, and many more to be announced. MDF Fest 2025 has announced more bands with Triptychon performing a Celtic Frost set, Atrophy, Excel, Razor, CN performing Conquerors of Armageddon in its entirety, plus many more to be announced. Saturday, August 31st at the Brooklyn Monarch in Brooklyn will be the Rage of Armageddon Fest featuring the return of Nasty Savage, Deceased, Blood Feast, Morbid Saint, Wrath, Contusion, plus many more. August 30th at TVI, 
the return of Bulldozer live. The Banished by Sin North American Tour featuring Deicide, Christian, Cloak, and more September the 10th at the Brooklyn Monarch, New York. In new releases this week, Colorado black metal band Ockley's released their new album, House of Black Geminis. Also out this week, Technical Brutal Death Metal band Wormed released their latest album on Season of Mist. Omegon, Brutal Spain Death Metal. New Jersey Gore Grind band Squelching Flesh released their album Psychic Incarceration. For those of you that are into horror, tune in to This Sith Lord is a Metalhead for our latest review on Maxine. The third installment into the Ty West Trilogy. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Don't forget about this Sith Lord's merch on eBay. Support the underground. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next episode of That Goat Metal Show.